I'm Master Cicerone Mirella Amato, and today I want to talk about how to put beers in the correct order when you're preparing a beer tasting at home. The idea, of course, is to start with the least intense beer and work your way up to the most intense. But beer being quite complex, it's not always obvious which beer comes before which. So I do have a checklist in my book. It's in the diving in section in the chapter entitled How to Set Up a Beer Tasting. And what we're going to do today is go through this checklist here to put the beers in front of me in the correct order. So before we start, I'll just let you know what these beers are. They're currently in alphabetical order by style. So here I have an American Amber Ale. It's 5.5% alcohol. I have an ESB, also 5.5% alcohol. An Imperial Stout. This one is 9%. A Milk Stout at 5.5% alcohol. Then I have a Pilsner here and a Red Ale. And these are both 5% alcohol. So let's dive in. So the first check mark says, start with the lowest alcohol beers and work your way up to the highest alcohol beers. So in this case, we have two beers mm -hmm. at 5%, the Red Ale mm -hmm. and the Pilsner. Then we have the Imperial Stout, you'll remember, at 9%. And my three other beers, the Milk Stout, mm -hmm. the ESB, and the American Amber, are all at 5.5%. Second step. A lager will generally be less intense than a nail. So in this category, we have just one beer. Here we have all ales. Here we have the Pilsner and the Red Ale. The Pilsner being a lager, we go before the Red Ale. There you go. Third step. The darker the beer, the more intense it will be. Here we have, at the 5% alcohol level, light to more intense. Here, however, I do have to make an adjustment and move the milk stout above my other two amber beers in this category. Again, the imperial stout stays on its own. Next step, beers with an assertive hop presence should go after beers with a strong malt presence. So, in the case of these beers, the only one that I would really classify as having an assertive hop presence is the American Amber Ale. So the American Amber Ale is going to have to go after the Milk Stout, which is the malt forward. There you go. Next step. Extremely bitter beers leave hop resins on the palate and should only be followed by high alcohol beers, ideally 8% ABV and above. So again, this is our only assertive, assertively bitter beer. It is followed by a 9% alcohol beer, so we're in the clear. And these beers are now in the correct tasting order. There is one last point in the book that talks about fruited or spiced beers. In this case, I don't have one in the lineup, but if I did, I would pop it in right here between my malt forward beer and my hot forward beer, assuming it was in the 5.5 alcohol range. Otherwise, if it was lighter in alcohol, I'd probably sit it somewhere around here. And there you go, you're set to go. Oh, that's tasty.